You know, we know Cleveland is home to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, right? But did you know Akron is making its mark in the music world as well? News 5's Meg Shaw explains in this week's uh, Buckeye Built. Well, so far in this Buckeye Built series, I have featured very large companies, ones that have been around for 50 or 100 years. But this company, called Earthquaker Devices, is smaller with less history. But already they're making their mark globally. At the end of Bowery Street in Akron, it may look like a dead-end road with some obscure buildings, but here on the newly dedicated Earthquaker Drive, some of the most creative minds in music work day in and day out. Creating guitar pedals, also known as effects pedals, for musicians all around the world. Pieces of equipment they use to alter sound. Well, yeah, I just kind of go through, test every feature, try not to make it too annoying for my coworkers since they're all working next to me. It's all part of a business that originated in Jamie Stillman's small Akron apartment back in 2004. There was no business plan, no intention to start a business, no money involved, really. Okay, so he's no businessman, but he is an experienced musician. My parents even have a recording of me like playing Beatles songs, like playing drums and singing hard days night on like hat boxes from when I was four. He's played in punk rock bands, produced records on his own label, and even tour managed for the Black Keys, which was the year he got the idea for Earthquaker Devices. A time when he was managing their gear, playing guitar on the side, when his effects pedal broke. I really relied on that pedal. He went searching for how to fix it. And this is Long it. story short, he figured it out. I had no electronics experience, no real engineering experience. He was on to something and started creating pedals by hand. The word spread and he found himself creating pedals for other people. My first pedal that wasn't for me uh, was built for Pat Carney. The Grammy award-winning drummer for the Black Keys. Eventually, Stillman began working 14 to 16 hours a day making the equipment. And now, his team of about 50 still make every product by hand, all from his designs. Each employee leaving their mark on every single pedal that's shipped out of their facility. It has taken on a little piece of everybody's personality, so uh, it's not so much my baby, it's sort of our baby. Personalities like Sam, the pedal doodler. So I have to put these back plates on and write the serial um, number and the date in the inside. So I just started drawing for fun. Usually I at least drew, draw like a simple cat, you know, like peeking up from the bottom. And after 15 years, their hard work is paying off. This year, Earthquaker Devices was nationally honored. We won, we won. Everybody's like, what did we win? And I was like, 2019 Exporter of the Year. That's Julie, Jamie's wife, the CEO. She tells me Earthquaker was recognized as the Small Business Exporter of the Year. Out of all U.S. small businesses, the first company from Ohio to ever win the award. Ohio is a great place to own a business. It's a great place to do manufacturing. I highly recommend it. We have a really supportive community. But this isn't it. Jamie says he's looking forward to even more growth. I would say the future for Earthquaker is hopefully continuing on the same trajectory where it's, you know, a little bit of growth every year at a pretty steady pace. <laughs> So being the small business exporter of the year, obviously they do a lot of global business. Julie says right now they're exporting product to about 50 different countries with a lot of that business coming from Japan. For more video on how the pedals are assembled and their national award, head to our News 5 app and click on the As Seen On section. For News 5, I'm Meg Shaw.